Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what senobamate is, the history of senobamate, how senobamate works, side effects, and risk. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link in the description section below and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. This presentation is for educational purposes only. Any questions you have regarding your current medication, changes, or any level of treatment, please contact your physician for any medical advice. The Defeating Epilepsy Foundation provides only educational resources and will not provide any medical advice when it comes to medication or treatment. According to Mayo Clinic, Senobamate is an anticonvulsant that is used to control partial onset seizures in adults. Senobamate is used to decrease electrical activity in the brain. Senobamate is taken orally as a tablet. It is important to follow your doctor's direction and take senobamate at the same time daily. Senobamate is also known as excopri. According to the Food and Drug Administration, senobamate was discovered by SK Biopharmaceuticals Company. Senobamate was found to reduce repetitive neuronal firing by enhancing the fast and slow inactivation of sodium channels and by inhibiting the persistent component of the sodium current. It is also a positive allosteric modulator of six subtypes of the gamma aminobutyric acid ion channel. However, the exact mechanisms by which senobaminate exerts its anticonvulsant effects in humans is unknown. According to Mayo Clinic, common side effects of senobaminate are blurred vision or double vision, change in walking balance, changes in patterns and rhythms of speech, clumsiness, unsteadiness, constipation, dizziness or lightheadedness, feelings of constant movement of self or surroundings, sensation of spinning, shakiness or unsteady walk, sleepiness or unusual drowsiness, slurred speech, trouble in speaking, uncontrolled eye movements, and unsteadiness, trembling, or other problems with muscle control or coordination. According to Mayo Clinic, less common side effects are abdominal or stomach pain, acid, sour stomach or heartburn, back pain, belching, change in taste or loss of taste, decreased appetite, diarrhea or indigestion, dry mouth, impaired memory, itching skin, lack or loss of strength, loss of taste, muscle aches, problems with speech or speaking, sore throat, stomach discomfort or upset, and stuffy or runny nose. According to the Epilepsy Foundation, serious but rare side effects are suicidal thoughts and behavior, dress or multi-organ hypersensitivity. Common symptoms include fever, rash, swelling of the lymph nodes. It can also affect body organs. QT shortening, a rare heart condition that causes a disruption in the heart's normal rhythm, which causes symptoms of dizziness and fainting. It is diagnosed through an EKG. Senobamate does not cause the condition, but can cause complications in patients that are diagnosed with it. Withdrawal of anti-epileptic drugs. Senobamate needs to be withdrawn slowly due to the risk of increasing seizure activity and causing status epileptus. Senobamate is an anticonvulsant that is used to control partial onset seizures in adults. Senobamate is used to decrease electrical activity in the brain. According to the Food and Drug Administration, senobamate was discovered by SK Biopharmaceuticals. Before making any changes to your treatment, talk to your doctor. To learn more about senobamate, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. 
We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.